Hi everyone, it's Raquel Bowman here today and today I'm sharing a layout that I created for Jot Magazine for the Christmas Gallery and I use the Tis the Season by Coco Vanilla Studio for this layout. So what I'm doing now is just going through and showing you the papers that I'd chosen, the embellishments from the collection and I've Show, showing you now as well two photos that I've printed. They're about a three by four in size and they are of a Christmas card photo shoot that I took last Christmas with my kitties. And the idea of doing that was so that I could send and give some family members a cute photo of them at Christmas time. Of course, being two and six months old the task of taking a photo and getting them both to be looking at the camera and smiling and posing all beautifully was very difficult and these two were the result the two photos that I have from the day and although they're not looking at the camera I absolutely adore the photos just the look on their faces even the way in the top photo that my daughter's holding my son's little hand and then him banging her one in the second photo it just it's it's just them completely and I love it so what I really love about this collection is that it's a softer they're softer so the traditional Christmas colors so it does have the green it does have the red but the red is more of a corally red I don't know what the proper name for that would be called so that's what I'm calling it and then I really love that light blue that's within the collection it just softens it down and everyone knows how much I love creating that soft sort of looking layout so as soon as I started playing with this collection and I'm not a Christmas scrapper I'm not a Grinch but I always find Christmas quite hard to scrap and I think it's probably as well because I don't take that many photos so I am becoming a bit more disciplined at taking the photos of my kids uh, beforehand whether it's in the Santa hats or trying to get them posed like this instance was but I am trying to do it a little bit more and get out of that grinchy sort of Christmas way of not really wanting to document Christmas time. Um, so, but this layout really just fell together. So once I had the placement around about of where I wanted my photos with that doily behind it, I'd had that vertical strip of the pat pattern paper. It was just a matter of, um, pulling out those oh that was excited clappy hands because I was I seriously couldn't believe how this layout did just sort of fall into place so once I popped those ephemera pieces out and I grabbed out the flower the floral pieces that I liked and I grabbed out that little memories die cut word and some of the other pieces that I've layered to the left of the photo there it just yeah it just sort of all happened without me really needing to think too much with which for a Christmas layout I normally find them quite tough so credit to Zoe at Coco Vanilla Studio for making such a beautiful collection because yeah this was a really nice scrapping time <laughs> for me for Christmas a Christmas layout um so what I'm doing now is I'm actually would you believe it or not up to sort of adhering some bits and pieces I've loved the die cut postcard piece that was in the ephemera pack it's super cute so I've popped that at the top right of the photo I've also found there's a cute little wood grain. I've added a couple of the wood grain pieces and the cute little wood grain, sort of like a tab, is at the top right. So this layout is a vertical, of a vertical design, but then I've got 
it's the embellishment sort of flowing diagonally from that main grouping of photos. So I've popped up that little tab. I've added a flare as well from the collection. It says Joy and they're nice. They've already got the adhesive dot on the back of them. I was looking at the cover part sheet and seeing if there was anything that I might have been able to cut up and add but I didn't find anything that I thought would suit and I was wanting to sort of although it's all quite layered in that top section I was sort of wanting to keep it quite clean so I have used the alphabet stickers and they're a nice they're that same nice ready coral color and I've popped the word photo shoot and then I'm going to add Christmas in the super teeny tiny blue stickers in that alphabet sheet as well. So I'm sticking everything down and this means that I'm happy with the placement. I'm happy with the overall design. I've added on the bottom of one of, around one of the photos a mat using the beautiful diagonal striped corally red that's all what I'm going to call it um, piece of paper and I've also added a little border sticker at the bottom of that as well and it just adds a nice little detail and a bit more something to that photo because that's a photo that I think I love the most with my daughter's face facial expression when she's getting hit knocked by my son. I'm using Fun Foam just to pop that photo up as well just so that that one does pop that little bit more off the page and I've spoken about the Fun Foam before on videos but if anyone is wondering and lives in Australia I did get that from my local spotlight and it was in a pack of I swear maybe it's something like 50 sheets it's quite quite a lot and they're sort of an they're a bit smaller than a a4 size and there's so much in there that and you can cut them and get them to fit whatever you're wanting to add that dimension to so instead of using foam tape rolls you can use the fun foam Sometimes it's not quite as thick as what you might like, but then you could double it if you wanted to as well and get that extra bit of dimension. And as you can see there, I do have foam dots that I'm still, I still add foam dots to my layout. It just means that I'm not going through them as quick as I might normally. So to the left of that photo, I've added a little um, holly leaf and a couple of journaling spots a couple of tags and I've tied a little bit of string to them and I think one of them says all smiles and can't remember what the other one says. Um, I've added a little ticket that says child and I've made sure that you could read the word child within that layering because that's who they are, they're children. And I've also added one of the little metal keys that's sold as an embellishment in the collection as well. Now I'm using my T-square ruler and I am wanting my title to go diagonally which means that the ruler can't go against the edge of the page but what I can do is I use the ruler and sort of lined it up with the bottom of the photo because I wanted it to the title to be that angle from my along my page. So there I've added the teeny tiny little alphabet stickers saying Christmas and they're a really nice soft blue and I love that that color and then that memories die cut piece from the ephemera pack I've actually sort of wrapped some string around and it is a crochet string and it's so it's thinner than um, an embroidery thread and I've added that around and sort of tied it in a bow and then that tag, that Santa tag that's hanging off that is adhered with a foam dot so it can't swing around. Um, it's, it's stuck there in place. 
I'm adding some of the enamel dots now and they're again gorgeous colors and nice and fun to work with and now I'm up to the journaling so I've typed that on my typewriter I've bought a new sort of four by six size trimmer I just love um, I used my trimmer you've seen me use my trimmer a lot in my process videos but I wanted something that I could cut photos easily and journaling easy with so I found that one it's by uh, Tonic Studios I think and I know that Fiskars make one also and they're just a super compact and easy to use. That's the end of the layout. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to check out the latest issue of Jot Magazine at jotmagazine.com and I'll be back soon with some more videos. Bye everyone.